What's up guys, it's that GTA fan 720 and I'm still having more problems with my computer. Uh, yeah, it's failing to install the uh, creator's update. It's completely refusing to install it. it. I tried to do it manually and I tried to do it through Windows Update and it's just not working. So that and also considering the system is now literally so unstable that I can't render a video without the entire program crashing so even if the system doesn't crash whatever program I'm using will just randomly crash and stop working so I'm fed up with this I don't care I know it's not gonna have support after like maybe next year um, on Skylake but I don't care I'm going back to Windows 7 or 8 or whatever I'll do whatever I can to get it working even if I can't use my M.2 drive and even if it has to be a little bit slower if it works, then that's great. So, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to install either Windows 7 or Windows 8. And if I do get something working, then I'll let you guys know. But unfortunately, yeah, no video today. I was going to post the Windows Vista to the Windows 7 transformation as I was exporting the video. The whole thing just crashed. Um, and that was after it crashing multiple times while trying to record the rest of the video in VMware and OBS and it's just not working. So yeah, this is, um, this, I, I wish I could, I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do because I tried to install the update. It won't let me install the update and it's so unstable that I can't do anything else. I could factor reset it, but if I'm going to reset it and have to reinstall anything anyway, I might as well do some, I might as well install something that actually works. Because I know I was always a stickler of Windows. I was like, oh, I'm only going to run Windows 7 for the rest of my life. But, you know, if, if that's what works, then I guess, yeah, I'm going to miss out on all the nice features Windows 10 has. I'm going to miss out on all the new stuff that the Creators Update will have. I was really looking forward to some of those features. But most of those features that it has are stuff that I already use with third-party software like SeaCleaner and Flux. So I don't really know if it's really worth it because at this point I literally can't do anything. I can I can open up Chrome and I can I can look at web pages and YouTube and stuff, but anytime I try to open up VideoPad or OBS or VMware Workstation, it just the whole system just dies. And every blue screen error is some different error. Like it was like watchdog error and then it was like, you know, bad device sector or some bull crap like that. Then this one, it was some weird thing. I don't even know what it was trying to say. Um, so yeah, I'm, I could I could call Microsoft, but I don't really feel like talking to some person who barely speaks English to try to fix my computer when they when I basically know more than these idiots do. No offense if you're a person who can't speak English very well and if you work at Microsoft. I'm just saying that 98% of the time you get someone who you can't even understand. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But if if I can't, uh, am I even pointing the phone at the screen? But if I can't get this to work, then I don't know what I'm going to do. So this is just kind of like a little vlog update or, of course, you know, whatever. I don't know what vlog it actually is. I'll have to go back and count how many vlogs I've done to officially badge this. But right now, I, I mean, I still have my laptop. So I can still, I can still, um, I'll, I'll probably do some channel updates on my laptop um, cause my laptop runs Windows 7 now, so it's very, although on this laptop, Windows 7 is blue screened like twice, which is weird because I've never had problems with Windows 7 before, but so far it seems like the most stable version of Windows I've ever ran is Windows 8, and that's the one everyone hates the most, but I don't really care, I don't mind the whole start thing, it doesn't really bug me at all, but, um, I have Windows 7 on here so I can use that to fix the channel or whatever. I might not even do it because I'm probably just going to spend all day fixing this freaking computer. <sighs> I thought I thought that undoing that SD card reader would fix it. I thought maybe it was, there was some kind of bug with it or something, but it's still doing it. So I don't know. I'll probably, if there's any updates, um, if I get new Windows installed and it's all successful, and I'm in the middle of installing my programs, and it's I'll probably actually run some stress tests because I have yet to run stress tests on this. 
I haven't run, you know, like A to 64 or anything like that. Um, so I might, I might invest in running some of that to make sure the system's actually stable before I go and start doing some big project that brings the whole thing to its knees. So yeah, this is just a little update video. Um, but yeah, this is that GTA fan 720 signing out. Wish me luck on getting my computer fixed. So yeah, um, have a good one.